Tonight, Lawrence gets lost in a car park. Max drives a dock tug. Hello. And Mike arrives. I have arrived. Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays for some more Manhunt Checkpoint. And I've just discovered that my first checkpoint is actually quite close to where I've spawned in, so that's convenient. Um, I've got this uh, Buccaneer here, which is a is a muscle car, because we've implemented a new thing in the rules that basically say that if any cars that have uh, that are worse than the coupe class now have bulletproof tyres to give me a bit more of an incentive to drive them. So as well as being allowed to drive sports cars like that fuselade next to me, I'm now if I drive something like a muscle car or a sedan, it's going to come with bulletproof tyres, and I don't need to worry about it getting about. So I don't need to worry about the hunter shooting them out, which could be quite nice. Could be quite useful because that's one of their favourite tricks when they're chasing me. It's a car running a red light there. So this is Manhunt Checkpoint. There are checkpoints scattered around the city, like that one right ahead of me there, looming up out of the fog. When I drive through them, I get a, um, I get another pair of checkpoints to decide to, to go off and choose which one to get. And there are some hunters, like that purple car that just went past me over there, um, that are watching out. They're trying to trying to work out which which car in the city is me, or which which person in the city is me, and stop me getting the checkpoints usually by trying to shoot me in the head. And one, as I said, one of their favourite tricks, if, if we get into a chase, if they manage to sort of pin my car temporarily, one of their favourite tricks is to then sh try and shoot the tyres out, because tyres are a bit easier to hit than my head. Um, and, it, and it makes driving quite a lot harder, because the cars tend to, you lose you lose traction and so on. You, you can't, the cars don't handle very well. So, in general, it makes things a bit harder for me, and it makes it easier for them to keep up with me and to catch me. So, we're going to see if this if these bulletproof tyres make much of a difference or not. Um, it's going to be, yeah, I think it's going to be quite interesting to find out. Now, I'm in a left turn only lane, um, so I think I am going to turn left, and I'm going to approach that checkpoint around the sort of the horseshoe shaped bit of road up ahead of me, because I think that's going to be a slight... No, that was a hunter. Um, that's going to be a slightly more subtle way of approaching it, and, and hopefully it'll make, make it um, a little bit harder for them to, them to catch, spot me and catch me, because I'll be approaching it along smaller roads. And the other possibility is that I could take one of those alleyways. Um, there's one just over there, and there's one over there somewhere. Um, but the problem with taking alleyways... Oop, that red flash means the hunters are shooting, but they're not shooting at me, so that's okay. And that's a green light, so I should start moving. Um, the problem with driving through alleyways is that if the hunters see me coming out of the alleyway, I'm really, really obvious. It's really obviously me, because AI cars don't drive through alleyways. So, I'm... I'm a bit loath to do that, even if it is... What's that car doing? A very illegal U-turn, apparently. Okay, let's take. Let's do a right turn on red, because this is America, and apparently that's allowed. Now, none of us are quite sure what the rules on right for right turn on red are, but I'm going to do this one anyway. That Oracle's driving fairly badly. Has there been shooting up this way, and these are all panicking AIs? I, I don't actually know. But there is a stopped car at these lights here, so I'm going to stop behind it. My plan is to go straight across behind it and then carry on in the opposite direction. There's not, that yellow car is another hunter. That's Ed. Um, here we go. Let's, let's go. Uh, one checkpoint, please. Thank you very much. That went green to say that I've got it. And that will be an explosion to say that I've really, really got it and to notify the hunters. Now, there's a blue car and a yellow car are around now. I'm, this makes me nervous. Yeah, it makes me very nervous. I see people getting out of their cars. I don't want to be there, especially when they're sort of huntery coloured cars. So that, that that pale blue car is not a sort of a, a natural car colour. Um, so that makes that. So I'm pretty sure that's a hunter, it's, and I'm pretty sure that's Max, who's um, one of, yeah, he's, he's that sort of pale blue colour is is his sort of player colour. Oh no, I've got a gang attack. That's not what I need. I know I'm heading back towards where the hunters were, but I'm hoping that I'll get away with that um, because it was long enough after they spot after they spotted me that I'm hoping they've sort of got confused is the wrong word but just gone a different way let's go across the what was that let's go down the railway lines here is what I was trying to say and nip over onto Elysian Island and then sort of take stock from there because I've got a choice between airport loop exit and life data so I could go to airport loop I don't generally like doing airport loop very much because it's a difficult one. To, it's a difficult one to take and to get away from. But there are a couple of tricks I know for it. 
Most of them involve not just driving into things like that, though. Um, also, I need to first. I need to get off Elysian Island. I don't know why I came over here. Now I think about it, but um, maybe there's maybe I'll be able to switch vehicles while I'm here. I think that yes, that ramp there I believe takes me off the island. This is a silly place to be. I don't want to be here. Those are not worthwhile vehicles. Let's stick with this one for now. Was oh, that an oracle? No, it's better than an oracle. Let's go and take that. No, no, it is an oracle. Okay. All right. So the problem with this is because I'm stealing a car, it ends up with a broken window, which is a shame. But I think it's probably better than being in an offensively orange um, muscle buc buccaneer that has been clearly has been spotted. I've now also just driven into a bollard, so that's damaged the front of the car, which is even worse. Makes the car look even more suspicious. But I think from here, I'm going to go across here. Oh, I, should, I should try and come on. Why is there so many cars, so many trucks overtaking each other? Um, if I see something like a fuselage, then I want to try and they're like that one there. I'm going to try and take that because that's a sports car and it's therefore much, much better than this Oracle. And it's less broken. And it's less um, smashed windowy. <laughs> so, yeah, this is this is a, this is a much, better, much better one. And after the recent rule change, because all of the other all the hunters seem to be better drivers than me, <coughs> um, <laughs> we've implemented a rule where I'm now allowed to take checkpoints in sports cars. So I'm going to take advantage of that by um, getting stuck in traffic on this bridge. Now I don't tend, when I when I am driving sports cars, I'm not really planning to to drive them to their fullest extent when I'm just travelling around the city, or at least when I'm taking the checkpoints. Having the sports car is more for when um, when I get in trouble and I need to get away quickly, rather than for me to try and use to uh, to get to take the checkpoint to high speed because that feels a bit a bit cheeky, I guess. Um, I'd rather sort of try and sneak up on the checkpoints and then and take, them at, uh, take them at low speed and then see how it goes from there. So, I need to get from here down to Airport Loop. Um, or, I go from here up towards Life Invader. And that's, that's always a possibility. It's, um, or, 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 I come off here like this. And try not to pin it in the water. I said, and try not to, oh. I mean, that could have been worse. Um, I didn't fall in. Didn't actually fall in the water. That's re that jump is really hard to do from that direction. <laughs> I thought you could. I thought if you went over it relatively slowly, it was fairly forgiving. But apparently not. So let's go along here. I think. Yeah, I've picked up a decent amount of damage from doing that. That was probably a bad idea. I should have. No. That's, ooh, actually, is that sports? No, the jest. Jest is probably a super. Oh, I don't know. Actually, probably should have gone for that. Ah well, don't want that. What if I head into the um, there's various car parks around here? I might be able to find something worth driving. Um, again, though, car parks mean you end up with a smashed window, and I don't really want that. I think I'm going to stick with this card for now. Get onto the airport loop. Not take the checkpoint unless it looks completely unguarded, which it kind of does. Nah. I'm going to get on the airport loop here. Hang on, I wanted to go on the... I was going to say I want to get on the top side of it. I'm not sure. I don't really know what the best way to do this is. As you can probably tell by the way I'm umming and erring. There are, as I said, there are a few tricks you can use for this checkpoint. But I've not actually used any of them at this point. I'm just sticking here in my fusillade. Um which is going to get a lot of attention from the hunters as soon as they see it because it's got damage on it. I probably should be changing vehicles, but... Hmm. Yeah, let's go in the car park here, see if there's a jester in the car park or something like that. That'd be quite... An, if, there's often... The airport often has some fairly good cars in the car park here. Um, that was an Oracle, I think. That's a Glendale, which is not a good car. No, that's. I mean, a good car would be nice. Uh, and that's a possibility, actually. It would have. It would at least have the bulletproof tyres I was talking about earlier. Um, 
as an oracle that is is okay but only okay um, that's a Futo which is a sports car um, that's also a Futo which is a sports car they're not the fastest of sports cars though so I think actually let's use another um, let's use another Buccaneer these aren't too bad and again, I get the I get the bulletproof tire bonus for this, but I do also get the broken window debuff. Now there isn't a jump off the top of this car park, which is a bit of a shame. I, to be fair, that's probably a good thing because seeing a car falling out of the sky would probably get the hunter's attention. I'm going against the arrows, but never mind. Oh, but yeah, this isn't the way out. <laughs> there isn't a ramp on this side. All right, let's go back in. Hang on, what? What? Oh. Getting out of a car park is difficult. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Lawrence attempts to leave a car park. Uh, this may be a. This may take a while. Uh, exit this way. Uh, come on. I was kind of hope. Well, I was hoping two things. One was that I'd be able to find a jester in this car park because they're pretty good. And also that I'd be able to just jump off the roof and get onto a convenient piece of um, airport road. Ideally the top part of the airport loop actually, that would have been nice. But it was not to be. I'm going to have to exit on my wheels like a... Um, oh, don't drive into that car. Like a chump. And just leave the traditional way like this. There we go. Was that another fuselade? Yes it was. That would have been a much better car for me to pick up. <laughs> Right, now I don't see any hunters around at the moment, which is nice. So, I'm just going to take this checkpoint and then skedaddle. I think I see movement behind me of a sort I don't appreciate. So, I'm going to, take, I'm going to go this way because it's a different way and then I'm going to put my foot down. Um, I don't know how much foot down I can do in the bucket here. It's not the fastest of cars. And it's... It's a muscle car, it's probably got a decent, it's theoretically got a decent amount of power, but I don't know, it doesn't seem to have a huge amount of speed. However, some fog seems to have rolled in, and that's going to give me a little bit of an advantage. Um, because it reduces the visibility, so it makes it slightly harder for the hunters to see me. So I'm just going to get out of here as quickly as I can. Now, golf course and square of squares. I'm not in the ideal sort of car for driving around downtown. And muscle cars do show up everywhere, but they're not the most common. That fuselade would be nice. Um, I think I want to get a little bit further from the um, from the airport first. So I'm going to try and get up here. And then... Hmm, what's the best way? Can't take golf course on foot. That never works. But what I can do... I could get into... Ooh, in, I could go into Red Car Park and pick up the supercar that often spawns there. So that way I'm guaranteed to be able to... Uh, at least I could if there was one. No, no, no supercar. Alright, we'll take this fuselade. This is going to lead to a broken window. No, it's not. Excellent. Even better. Right, so I've got me a fuselade. Exit the car park. Nice and gently. Cars do sometimes do this. Don't get suspicious if you see me. There we go. Yeah, no one around. Let's pull up behind this motorbike. Okay, so there's the um, Square of Squares checkpoint. This is going quite well so far. Touch of wood and so on. Uh, <laughs> famous last words, etc, etc. But that's two checkpoints taken reasonably smoothly and reasonably competently, if I do say so myself. We've had a little bit of chasing, but not too much. So let's just sort of join normal traffic coming through here. Green light. We've got a lot of cars here. Now, I don't like it when I end up in queues of lots of cars because that makes the hunter suspicious they come along and they go oh there's loads of cars here he must be one of them and there's an element of truth in that because the way the game works is it it spawns cars in where it essentially where it needs to and then it'll um, based on sort of trying to keep normal sensible traffic flow going and then it'll despawn them when the um, when there's no players nearby essentially so if you sit around in one, if you if you drive around like a lunatic, like the hunters do, and like you know your normal typical player does in these sort of games, you go around this for that reason. Um, then you tend, then the car, then the traffic density stays normal. 
But if you sit still, especially if you sit still, still in a traffic jam, then funny things happen and cars tend to build up around you. And then the hunters get suspicious like hit, like hit in there. So I'm going to go right here. In a, oh, badly, into a lamppost. That's going to give me away. Let's just put my foot down now. Because I think that driving into a lamppost... Let's go around here like this. And through this car park. Oh, this is a car park. What's that? Max in a... Yes, that's Max in a truck. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Why not? That's Tristan on a motorbike. Okay, so the hunters are going full on, let's use some weird vehicles on me then. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a great fan of that. I think it makes the game a lot more interesting. The motorbikes have a lot of acceleration and a lot of agility and a lot of speed. So they're quite... They're unrealistically good because, I mean, real, real life motorbikes, they don't corner anything like as well as the motorbikes in GTA do. But a real motorbike does also have an enormous amount of acceleration. So... Yeah, they make great sort of scouting vehicles, I suppose, um, because you can you can sort of quickly catch up with you can you can you can you, you, they're very nippy and they can go around all over the place and do silly things like like Tristan was demonstrating there. Um, he's still with me, you see. He's also very vulnerable. I mean, if I with any luck, I might be able to sort of just to hit him with my car and then take him out. Um, so yeah, he's vulnerable to being hit, but also. He's all, there's a limit to what he can actually do when he's following me. Um, so, in th theory, uh, yeah. So he can't he can't really stop me because he's on a motorbike, which doesn't weigh anything. If he drives into me, he's going to come off much much worse than I am. Um, or if I can make him drive into some ran random AI traffic, then he's going to come off worse than I am. Ooh. Alternatively, if I can get Mark to hit him, he's going to come off worse. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, so we have a we have a rule where if one hunter kills another hunter, then both then the hunter who did the killing gets um, killed as well as a sort of a, a punishment for betrayal essentially. Uh, so it looks like Mark probably drove into Tristan there, ran him over, and I'm just going to run this light and go for the checkpoint because I'm not in a chase now, so it's good for me to get good for me to get over it. So yeah, because one hunter hit another hunter. They both they both get killed, which is quite nice. It's a, it's a useful thing for removing the heat when I uh, when I when I need it. Right, I'm now at this checkpoint. I pressed the wrong button. That was meant to be that was meant to be the take the checkpoint button, uh, which I should do anyway. And it seems to be quite quiet around here, so I'm then going to just run and try and make myself scarce by going up here. Um. Seems to be pretty quiet around here. Um, I don't really have a plan at the moment. <laughs> Can you tell? Ooh, let's take that Sultan. I've never driven a Sultan because normally they're. Um, I'm normally not allowed to drive sports cars. But given this weather, I think a Sultan might be quite good because I'm feeling they're four-wheel drive, and all this rain is going to make four-wheel drive car rather convenient. And also, I think Sultans are, I think Sultans are quite good. So, let's go this way, go this way to start with. So this is going to make it look like I'm heading up to Mirror Park, because I am heading up to Mirror Park at the moment. But I'm not going to go for that checkpoint, because I always seem to have trouble taking it. It's just, it's just awkward, to be quite honest with you. So I'm going to head up this way. Then I'm going to come off the motorway at some point. There's nobody behind me. I'm going to come off the motorway here like that and then head all the way across the city um, I don't expect this really to fool the hunters very much um, although actually come think of it if I get onto the highway and head across the city on the highway then that's going to allow me to leave them behind quite well and the beach checkpoint where is the beach checkpoint oh it's down, down the bottom end of the beach down towards Troll Beach end um, ok so the highway doesn't really go there but it does at least go to it goes to beach though. So let's take this one, and head over there, and then work things out from there. Yes, this seems like this seems like a good plan. Now I'm going a bit too fast for um, freeway traffic. I would I quite like to sort of stick at. As I was saying earlier, yes, I can use sports cars, and the hunters can't. 
Um, and that's to give me that little bit of an edge when we get into chases because there's more of them and some of them, at least some of them are better at driving than me. They might claim all of them are better at driving me, who knows. Um, so if I stick with it, if I, if I use sports cars, I don't like to use sort of the full speed of the sports car to get me around the city <clears throat> because that feels a bit a bit cheaty. It, may, it gives me a bit too much of an advantage. Actually, oh, I should have come off here. This is the right end, this is the end of the beach that I want to be at. Ah, fail. That one. I'll just carry on for now. Come off the other end and drive up next to the beach. That that will work. Sneak past here. Do the sort of driving that I <laughs> always rage at people while well, give people dirty looks for doing in real life. But you know, this isn't real life. There's, but there's far more at stake in this. Uh, I'm just gonna get out of the way. Turn around here. Come off here for the beach exit. Yes. And then head up. Now last, I think last time I took this checkpoint, I did it on foot. And that worked really, really well. And I don't think that video's gone out yet, so the hunters haven't seen me do it. But, it's raining and I don't want to get my hair wet. Um, it's, yeah, I, I think I might do something different this time, just to keep things varied. Uh... Now, do I want to sit in traffic? That's the question. Um, you can see that. Oh, you can see the glow of the checkpoint on the horizon there, or through the buildings. There. That's quite nice. It shows I'm fairly close to it. Uh, it's going to be fairly obvious how I'm approaching the checkpoint. Why are you driving so slowly? This isn't a 20 mile an hour limit, mate. Uh, I know it's a red light. I'm going to ignore it. Yes. Oop, there's there's Mike in the orange. Kind of suspicious, as is his right. I'm sort of trying to flee as if I'm an AI, but I'm probably not doing a very good job of it. Um, there's two hunters there now. I think that means it's probably time I wasn't here. Bonk. Oh, now Ed switched to, uh, to the motorbike. Oh, and. Uh, Mike has switched to a 4x4. I wonder if he's using the same sort of logic I was, um, in that it's probably good to have all-wheel drive when the weather's like this. Ah, uh, they're shooting, they're shooting. I don't like this, especially that I have got the... Oh, I'm in the water. That's bad. Can I remember how to swim? That's the question. No, is the answer. Yes, okay, yes I can. There we go. Okay, right. Where am I going to go? Where should I... What's... The there's shooting happening. Now, how long can I hold my breath for? That's the other question. At least if um, Let's sneak around the corner here and then surface. Okay, Mark has died. I'm not sure why. There is shooting happening. I don't know if it's at me. I found some shallow water, which is probably bad. There we go. There's some deep water. Um, I've forgotten how to dive again. I've completely forgotten how to dive. I thought it was that. Oh, there we go. I am not very good at swimming. Um, it is known. The hunters know this as well, unfortunately. I'm doing better than I normally do, though, which is nice. Because <laughs> I've sort of... I'm not going to say I've got away... But I'm... I don't know. I don't know where they are at this point. Oh, come on, dive again. What was dive? Wasn't that, wasn't that. Nope, it's not that one. I suppose that's one way to dive. <laughs> right, I'm trying to work out what, at the moment, in case you're wondering... I'm trying to work out what the best way to um, to get away from here is, and obviously I need to find a, a, one of the. I need to use one of these ramps to get up out of the out away out and away from the water. But I need to decide which is the best one to do it from. Now there's what there is one there, but the problem with any of these, I feel they're all very very exposed. 
but I guess I've got to. At some point, I've got to leave. So let's try switching back over to sort of pedestrian mode. Now, of course, there aren't any cars around here, just that would work because that would be useful. Go up on top of the buildings. So it's going to make me very, very exposed, but also depends on where you look from. So I'm either going to be very exposed or very hidden just because I'm in because I'm in an odd area. There's no cars anywhere. How am I going to escape if I can't find a car? There's one over there. It's a long way over, across a op very open car park. Ah, here we go. Here's some vehicles. Ah, oh, perfect. A sports car as well. Nice, 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 nice. Let's take this. Oh, we've got to set the alarm off. But never mind. I don't mind having. I don't mind an alarm going off really if, it's, if I get away with it. Ooh. Um, for certain values of getting, for certain values of getting away. Oh come on! Don't get caught on a. Oh, I got caught on all these tiny little sticky out bits of wall. Ah! Oh. Do we see 9F's at here? Oh, there's a lot of traffic at the... Uh, um, oh, there's a black car. Uh, it must be him. At... Uh, uh, at Monument. Monument now, I think it is. In, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, black convertible heading north. Black 9F? North. Uh, yeah. yeah. Still north. Next is Gate Park, Ed. Sorry, Mark, I was trying to get out of your way. He's going straight no, no, sure. into. Uh, into it's not. Um, no, no, it's not him. He's not hitting it. No, no. Who's in the black car of the? Black yeah, car. but. Top, top. Uh, you need to change it to your. Okay. No, that's oh, not him. him. Uh, square squares is inside circle. I'm heading there. A lot of cars here at higher lower. Um, yeah, there is a black. I think I have them. Um, higher, lower, on lower, heading to square squares. Uh, black uh, F610, F620 or fuselage or something. Uh, left at left behind you. I'm turning left. Oh no, the blue one. Who's that? Me, Max. Oh yeah, hey, Max here. Uh, heading south now towards ghetto. Yeah, uh, and he's. Turning around, that's definitely him. Onto parking oh, space on the ramp. In the alleyway, uh, he's back towards uh, square squares, north yeah. side. Uh, no, he's back back underneath the higher left lower. or right? Left, 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 left. He's underneath higher lower towards the red car park. Ah. Yep, just went past me. Turned right. Uh, I think a black fuselage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Arcadia is now. East side of Arcadia. North side. 
passing construction sites, turning right just after construction sites. Sorry, Ed? Uh, turning right to south down the other side of the construction site. I can see him. Left at Penrith's building. Okay, no longer see him. Left again, uh, passing Pillbox Hill on the west side, turning right onto the highway. Uh, left of left one on the slip road. East west. Okay. About to move the circle. Yep, this is definitely him. Uh, he's turning around on the highway. Where? Now heading west on the east west highway. Oh, we're at the far east northeast corner of it. Coming off here. Uh, so this is north of Penrith building we're about to be. Okay. Going straight back on the highway, heading west from Penrith building. Straight across onto the wrong side of the highway. And take, going south at the T junction. Ow. Oh. Oh. Uh, I <laughs> you should have said that you're on a motorbike. <laughs> ah, the motorbike was on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, well. <laughs> That's our. I think he's on the uh, more inner road, you know, the little road towards uh, checkpoint. I'm inclined to agree with you. Oh, that's you. Um, yeah. I'm saying I've got a circle jump as a car went through the edge of it. I challenged it, just run a red light. Yeah, I think I've got him. Um, so heading uh, one junction south of checkpoint. Um, on the road one over south, that one, yeah, the, they're marked turning left. Um, now due south of the circle, heading back up towards... Oh, boy. That one. About to go through the checkpoint. Mm. Or... Nope. Oh. He's having fun hitting things like lampposts. Um, great car. Oh, I see. Great yeah, car. Great car. <laughs> it's a uh, salt on the Let's push him in the water. Water, water! Okay, that's all make a small perimeter now. <laughs> Let's get him. Oh no, I jumped. Is, is, he, is he in the water? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, good work. Is he actually in the water right now? I think he's out of the water. If that's him. Could be an MC how, that's grabbing shots, but... How do you jump? How do you swim? I am. Is this, Who's no. this running here? No, no, no. Scream. I'm in a cop out okay. here. <laughs> so he could still be in the water. He could, he could swim into the canals again. And you ran me just then, yeah? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, just, 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 just checking, because let's, let's be honest, if Lawrence could get in your car and drive off, he would. And he'd love it. Is he still in his car, just driving there, sitting there, waiting for that last breath of air in that air bubble? Oh, there's uh, a car... Uh, car leaving the marina. It has a grey jacket. Oh, I'm gonna kill it. I just shot a pedestrian. Oh, good work. Oh, nice. That was a strange shot, but okay. I had it pinned against a pillar in a wall. <laughs> that was a uh, pure luck for me walking in there. I don't know where he got out. Racing. It's tiny little bits of sticking out wall I got caught on. <laughs> <laughs> good evening. Hello. That was a fun run. Where did you get out of the water? Did you swim underwater a whole bit? Yes, yes, I went quite a long way underwater. <laughs>